okay 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 so i am here to show you how to access the acca practice platform and how to mark after solving the question but in this video i will also solve the financial management march june 2022 question and mark them so you understand okay so when you open your google chrome all what you need to do is just type acca practice platform right so with the practice platform you just click on the link that appears scroll down to log in to the practice platform and the resources here so you click on it and it will direct you to that part so you fill it with your details your, your acc id and your password then you sign in so the page will automatically open for you okay so now when it opens the left side is the work area let me put it that way the right side is for the paper you are taking so over here we have advanced audit and assurance advanced financial management advanced performance management and so on so here the items you are taking just click on it so here we are doing financial management okay so financial management you click on the plus or the financial management you click on it then you go to acc official resources you click on it now we have past exam library practice exam and specimen the specimen is the specimen the practice exam is an exam of 2016 that is we have session a session b session c but the past exam library contain only session c only session c so you click on what you want to do you click on it and we have assign 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 so you assign what you want to do okay but in this case if you want to do all of them you assign all of them but you see this one i have assigned so it is showing on assign and this is what you are coming to do so let me on assign okay so let me assign when you assign it you just have to go back and come to the left side here and you come to the left side the exam you assign all of them will come here so here fm so let's go to i've already assigned pm 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 so let's go fm right then you start but here it was already in progress so resume you can pause it and come back so you click on start and it is uh, the same way as how the acc exam is okay so you click on start the instructions the acc instructions and everything will come but since this was in progress right since this was in progress you just have to uh, it just came like this so that's how to start the exam so i will solve this question with you and mark it so that you know how it is marked right okay okay so let's start let's start so we have i the i is saying that uh, a for the proposed investment in the new motorcycle calculate the following i i npv npv so you are calculating for the npv npv so you have to read the question blah 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 so because of time so now patch school has prepared the following forecast of production and sales of the new model so here is the production and so here you are very lucky they didn't give us in essay form they gave it to us in figures like in the trial balance form so calculating for the npv the irr and the payback period is very 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 easy so now since the production is up to year four we start our workings with years so we have year zero we have year one year two year three year four that is the years and now bear it in mind that it is in million so here we have our initial investment so our initial investment our initial investment uh, 
our initial investment our shorten it because of time so our initial investment we have a negative 220 million and negative 220 million are you getting me 220 million now we have our revenue our revenue but here they say that selling price i will come back to the residual value don't worry selling price year one price terms twenty thousand per motorcycle so you need to set up your workings so your workings so year one so let us bring the years here year one year two year three year four revenue now selling price twenty thousand but expected selling price inflation is six percent but here the question is telling you that the selling price the year one selling price is in price terms mean that the year one selling price is to, supposed to be twenty thousand it is not supposed to be inflated anywhere the year one is in price terms meaning current price terms so year one so we have our uh, selling price selling price so we are one is supposed to be twenty thousand but since we are working in millions we have to ignore the zeros so we have to take off six zeros we have to take off six zeros in the exams you can put in all the figures you can put in all the zeros on whatever the examiner is going to see a market for you right but here because of my workspace and how small my interface is in the exams i'm going to get a big interface here my interface is very small so i will ignore six zeros so here our selling price per year is twenty thousand so let's make it twenty so twenty now the inflation started in year two so equal to this 20 multiplying you open the bracket one one plus the inflation rate which is six percent then you close the bracket you press enter you drag it to year four that's all that's all you need to know and the reason why it is supposed to be that is that if the inflation was supposed to start in year one let me delete it if inflation was supposed to be to start in year one imagine there was nothing here that year one price ten but the expected selling price inflation was six percent it will be equal to the 20 percent the 20 thousand multiplying bracket open one plus the six percent bracket close exponent the number of years so year one enter then you drag to year four that is if the inflation started in year one this was so this will, this will be the answer but since inflation started in year two so we have 20 here equal to this multiplying bracket open one plus six percent close the bracket you press enter so year three is also going to be this figure multiplying one plus six percent year four is going to be year three figure multiplying one plus six percent so then you have to drag it you have to drag it Four. It's the same as you let me let me give you so you just do it like this so you understand. So I've showed you if inflation started in year one. If you want to understand inflation, I have the chest on inflation. Go to my videos and you find it. So that's the selling price. So you now we have now we now have the demand. Mind you, we took we took 
three zeros from here. So we have to also take three zeros from the demand over here. So the demand is what? 25,000. So we have 25. We have 45. We have 40. And we have 20. So we all see zeros have left us. So now, what we do for the revenue is equal to the selling price multiplying the demand to 500. Drag to your four. Make the actual figure. You come here to the revenue. Okay. Okay. That's that's okay. That's very good. So we have our revenue figure here. This is our initial investment. So our revenue figure. You just mind you when you are doing the exams, since you have done your working here, and we have these figures over here. Don't come here and type in 500, 954, no, because when there is a mistake and you have to change it in the workings, you will keep wrong or you might make a mistake. So what you have to do is that you press the equal to sign at your one and you press, you take it to the 500 where your final answer is, you press the enter and you drag it to your four so everything here is the same thing here so if there's a mistake and you need to change it in your workings then any figure you change here will automatically appear here so let's say this is 25 so let us make it 22 22 you see now this is 440 but immediately you come here these two is the same 440 so you have to link them that's all so that's a revenue figure that's a revenue figure now what do we have here? Variable cost 14,000. So we have our variable cost also. Our variable cost. Year one is in current price terms. So year one is not included. So 14,000 is below your three zeros. So 14. Now you inflate it. So equal to the 14 multiplying bracket open 1 plus 6%. That's the inflation. Bracket close. Enter. We have it in year four. Okay, we have the demand. We will take the demand. Yeah, drag to year four. It will repeat everything there. So this is equal to this multiplying this. You drag it. But mind you, variable cost is a negative figure. But I work it in a positive way. So that you don't get mistake using the formulas because any little mistake you do, I'm going to get it wrong. So now after that, you bring the negative sign over here. Press enter. Negative 350. Then you drag to the last end. Okay. Now you come here. This. This. So the VC is equal to everything here enter you drag it to your four okay so your revenue your revenue your revenue minus a viable cost will give you contribution will give you contribution so equal to sum 
of everything here you create the bracket and get them to close the bracket press enter don't i repeat don't do it equal to revenue minus variable cost i'm going to get 850 which is wrong you are taking the variable cost from the revenue and the variable cost is a negative figure in the workings show it as a negative figure so all what you need to do is to add it because addition plus negative is still negative so you go to the 500 plus the 350 150 that's all drag it to your four you have your contribution after your contribution they say that incremental first cost 120 million year one is in current price 10 so face cost 120 million so 120 is already in millions 120 so equal to this times bracket open one plus 10 percent close bracket move to year four okay it's a negative figure it's a very big negative figure first cost is negative you drag it to the end of the years that is year four you drag it to year four okay okay thank you year four so here's the first cost Cost equal to everything here. Drag it to your four to get your net cash flow. Your net cash flow is equal to again the sum, or you can do just equal to the contribution plus negative fixed cost. Get you drag it to your four. So this this is the net cash flow. But sorry, 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 sorry. In the question, you have residual value. That is the scrap. Scrap at the end of the four years. So if you come to the data part as 30 positive 30, 30 million. Positive, it's supposed to be positive. Always the scrap value is a positive figure. So you now have your net cash flow. Your net cash flow. But mind you, you can still bring the scrap anywhere you want. Okay. You can bring the scrap value anywhere you want in the exam, it's acceptable. So, equal to the sum or equal to this contribution plus first cost plus scrap enter. Get you drag it over here. Very good. So, equal to this negative 220. So this is your net cash flow. Now the discount they say that nominal money discount rate is 40%. It's no transition. So here there's nothing like tax after tax or whatever. I have lectures on tax, so you can also go through. Okay. So here the discount rate is 14%. So we have discount factor 14%. Percent so you can come here formula sheet, formula sheet, and here you find your discount rate that's your present value. So here your discount is 14 percent. So 14 percent is here. So you are one, you are two, you are three, you are four. So you can just copy this or you use the formula one plus the root exponent negative 
number of years exponent negative number of years right so let's do the formula so the discount factor so equal to so equal to bracket open one plus the discount factor which is 14 percent 14 percent exponent negative number of years here the number of years is zero you have gotten your one because any number any number exponent zero is one you drag it to your four and these are the discount factors so you can come here the three the two zeros here you click on them you go to custom you go to a number you can use accounting or when you come here you can choose the kind of a decimal number you want or whatever so let us just leave it like this okay after that we do everything random up so we have our previous that's present value so equal to the discount factor multiplying the net cash flow there's our present value to the last year to the last year so our NPV our NPV is equal to the sum of all the cash flows so from year 0 to year 4 you close the bracket you press enter so this is our NPV 16.79 16.79 16 point very simple very simple so we have our first five marks now they are telling us to calculate for our internal rate of return our internal rate of return which is very very simple very very simple and do you know why it is simple you can be a b or let's say i i i r r the only thing you have to do the only thing you have to do is bring your yes here to zero one two three four come here your workings whether you were, you were wrong you think you were wrong or right come here your workings you see your net cash flows copy them copy your net cash flows copy your net cash flows in fact copy everything here net cash flow copy them here copy now bring them here and paste them everything is being pasted over here let's place special let's paste it as values here is it in the other when you just do paste everything will come so this is your cash flow that is your net cash flow then what you need to do what you need to do the internal rate of return is that you bring your equal to, you press i r r equal to i r r open bracket you select all the cash flows to your four close the bracket and press enter that is your internal rate of return to percentage so you come here you press the two zeros here custom percent so let's do it to two decimal places press ok so 17.7 percent so that's the IRR you don't have to do any guessing or any cash flow this is the IRR when you check the question when you check the answers you are going to see it this is the IRR are you getting they might be some decimal because I have been winding them up they might be some decimals so this is the internal rate of return follow two marks then we go to the payback i i i so i i i payback 
payback and the payback is also very very simple are you getting me the payback is very simple so you start with your years you start with your years so let's just copy everything here let's copy this is here as you made simple you copy paste them and what do you need again you also need your net cash flows copy everything here copy everything here let's paste as values okay you can come don't worry do it again copy in fact control plus b this is your net cash flow this is your net cash flow now we are paying back this 220 we are paying back this 220 we are paying back this 220 are you getting me so what we need to do is in the first year it is going to take away 30 million so equal to this 220 plus mind with is minus so plus this 30 is going to give you 190 let me explain it well we want to know how many years it will take to pay back this 120 and in year one was 30 year two is 154 so we have to reduce this zero this 220 with all of this until the day it will finish so by reducing it here it's a negative figure so what we have to need to do is to add 30 so in year one we paid back 30 so the remaining is 190 so in year two equal to the 190 plus the 154 which is 35.8 35.8 and in year 3 in year 3 is equal to this 124 plus no this negative 35 plus 124 which is 88.8 Six four eighty eight point six four. So, how to calculate for the payback for this in the workings? So, now in year one, we paid 30 and it took all of them. In year two, we paid five one five four and it took all of them. So, we used two full years to pay those, but here. It didn't take the 35 year didn't take all the 124 the 35 year it didn't take all the 124 so what we are going to do what we are going to do is the 35 plus the 88 so it will be equal to the open of brackets this 35 divided by this 35 plus this 88 and we close the bracket so i want to get 89 89.664 let me do it in a more simplified way equal to this 35 you want to know how much it went into the year 3 so this 35 this 35.8 divided by the 35.8 divided by the same 35.8 you open the bracket you have to know your bracket plus 88.6 you close the bracket You have negative zero 
0.7721 multiplied by the number of months in a year. Eight. So, so the payback is two years, eight months. Yes, eight months. That is the payback period. We have your return on capital employed. That is IV. IV. Because of time, I will solve this question and show you how to mark. Okay. So the IV. We have your. ROC or ROC. Now your ROC, you have your total cash inflow. Your total cash inflow. Your total cash inflow. And the total cash inflow is all the cash flows. All the cash flow minus minus your scrap value minus your scrap value so equal to equal to this 30 million in a one plus this one four five one five four plus one two four plus the one three point two the one three point two I'm going to get 321. 321. Scrap. Negative 10. Because we don't get any return from the scrap. Scrap is scrap. Take it like that. So this plus this. So now your total cash inflow. The total cash inflow. 291. 1.8 now we have the total depreciation total depreciation we have depreciation depreciation now your depreciation is the initial investment minus the scrap so the initial investment which is 220 Minus the scrap so plus that. Sorry, so the 220 minus the scrap it is that. So it is going to give you 190 depreciation. And now you have to find your profit, your accounting profit. You have to find your profit. So the formula is in the capital, you can see it, but based on the question, this is how. You set up the workings so now your profit is the total cash flow minus your depreciation you know it's accounting profit so you are going to get 101 now you find the average of the profit for the years you have the total cash flow you have your depreciation so your Depreciation minus the cash flow gives you your profit. Now you find the average. The average. The average is this divided by the number of years, four years. It will give you 25.466. Now we have your average investment. So average P. So average I. The average investment is also not divided by the total number of years but by 2 because it is 220 plus the 30 which is scrap so the initial investment so equal to 220 plus 
the scrap 30 you close the bracket divided by 2 no your formulas no your formulas I'm going to get 125 so now return on investment is your average profit return on capital employee is your average profit divided by your average investment or multiplied by 100 so equal to average profit so average profit divided by average investment close bracket times a hundred percent so twenty percent twenty percent that's all that's all for your return on capital employed so return on capital employed is actually average profit over average investment the average investment is very simple it is just the initial investment which is this 220 plus the scrap of 30 divided by 2 always initial investment is the average investment is initial investment plus scrap divided by 2 now you have to look for your uh, accounting profit so the accounting profit is also your cash flows minus your depreciation then you divide it by the number of years to get your average profit and you divide it to get your answer so i have solved the NPV question so because of time i will go on and mark it for you to see so you click on next these are reading these are reading so discard the stabilities of the techniques used in a for determining whether for you just bring your workings here the capital employed is 20 percent but what we had here is more than the 20 percent which is 20.37 which is okay you need it right the irr whatever you explain it over here so the cost of time you click next in my next lecture I will also solve this question with you I will solve this question with you that is cost of capital we tell the cost of capital very simple and straightforward so next we discuss it everything here so after the exams this is what we see so you just click end exam over here you click on yes yes you click on exit this is how the main exam is exit now after using this practice platform after solving it you now come here mark see there is a mark here you click on it and the exams you did will come completed by June 20th 1 pm soft mark wait for it to load depending on your network and the type of machine you are using will determine how fast it will load so i'm using samsung core i5 so it's kind of fast a little but i'm from africa so the internet is also very good so we have our interface yeah and these are our answers everything we did is here everything we did is here so we are to mark what we did so the first step is take 
marking mode click on it now what question are you marking you are marking show question stem show you are marking question 1a i that's the NPV, so you hide it back i NPV. so 1a i NPV, NPV. you click on it now you click here to see the marking guide here is it here is the marking guide so you can just zoom in you can just zoom in you zoom in and you check your answers so i'm using the hand to be able to drag so here are the answers so you now click on the correct here the tick here right now you see revenue 500 954 898 476 so the schemes are here down here each and every mark allocated so you have income that's the revenue one mark so the revenue if we have it here 500 954 it is one mark so we click on one and beside it you click on it you see that's marked one one is showing here and there's one also showing here we'll have score one so variable cost we had it correct 350 negative 67 you mark it here one contribution we had it we mark it contribution is 0 0.5 market 0.5 to show up one mark we have our net cash flow our scrap is 0 0.5 if you get it wrong you just press the zero and just mark it there's no to show zero without even the touch any mark if it is one our IRL, we have it. Let's say two. So two. Our IRL, we have, we have two. But when you mark it, you see it is not coming. Because you have taken the question one. So it is only the question one that you can mark. It's only the question mark that you can mark. Are you getting me? And the question mark is up to only five marks. So you can't go beyond the five. So here you have 4. So when you select the 2, it is not coming. So let's say 0 0.5. Okay. Now we are marking the II. Just one AII. Click on it. The general rate of return is 2 max. We have it. IRR 17.82. We had it here. But because of our decimals, we have 17.70. So 2. Let's say 2. We had it. Payback period one. Payback. We had two years, three months. We had two years, eight months. Well, because of this mass, so let's see 0 0.5. Let's see the last end. Return on capital employed. You check. And what did they get? Return on capital employed. They had 20.4. We also have 20.373, 20.4 because of this mouse. And how many marks was it? It was hooping three marks. So you select your three here, and you click on the return on capital employee three marks. Now, so that is all. So after marking, you click here two. The sec second question will come. So sample answer. Here, yeah, everything here. You click here. You click the tick. The 0 0.5, and you begin to mark whatever thing that you feel it is right. You go to question three. The same thing. You go to question four. The same thing. After you are done marking, you just click on this close. Yeah. So you can. Yeah. You, so you are done marking. So you can check your answers. And in my next lecture, I will show you how to download this content. 
yeah so you just check the answers you need to uh, you can send me a message for this question too you need to the answers here so after everything you just click on here and yes to success so these are the results of all the exams i have taken so here you did fm so fm so you have to read you so this where is the latest one this i've already done them so we have the so you can review them okay can you view them so. but since you haven't done anything it will be blank over there it is only the that one that you see but we have done a lot of them so you can review them you see here is it review the questions next question and so on and so forth so that we come home and we can continue and solve other more questions or you can just log out so that's all to so subscribe for more i will be touching on later that we cost on capital and financial reporting also and alternate assurance there's a trick to save your time okay thank you